in Java, we can create arrays with values already populated, rather than allocating the memory and then assigning the values manually. That's what we call array initialization. However, we don't have any real list initialization in Java. So here's a couple of workarounds for list initialization that might look identical, but definitely are not. In line 17, we see the variable myList. This one is instantiated using the off function from the stream class. Then we are applying the collect terminal operator. In the next line, we are declaring a variable named another list. That one is instantiated using the asList function from the arrays class. So far, both functions return an array list that is stored in the respective variables. And they may look identical, but they are not. Let's dig onto the differences. If we add a line of code that adds an element 4 in variable myList and execute the code, we'll see that the value 4 is now stored in the myList. However, if we try to execute the same function in another list, instead we'll see an unsupported operation exception, and the application will fail to execute. If both variables are a list, why does this happen? Well, the answer is quite simple. When we use the function as list of the arrays class, we will be creating an immutable array list, which means that it is an array list which we cannot alter the references or size. Instead, when we create an array list from the collections terminal operator, we will get a mutable array list that will allow us to modify and alter the array list as we wish. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and follow for more Java tips.